What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today we have a new truck. This is a 2017 F350 Mason dump, dump truck, whatever you want to call it. This one is replacing our, I believe it's F450 flatbed. I don't remember exactly what it is. It might be a 350. I think it's a 450, but we have a flatbed that my brother currently uses and he does a condominium complex with it but that truck is not in the best shape so we're gonna try to get rid of that so when my father came across this one he decided to jump on it and go pick it up so he got this a couple days ago and drove it home so this is my first time seeing it i'm gonna drive it later we are dropping it off to get a plow mounted on it as you can tell this never had a plow it still has this underskirt thing i'm not exactly sure what they call that but this truck is in decent shape it will get a nine foot western plow on it and we are going to mount a sander in the back so we are purchasing a new plow for this completely brand new rather than swapping the one over from the other truck because we want to sell that truck as a complete package so somebody that is interested in doing snow removal with it can just buy it and they don't have to worry about anything it gets the plow with it has all the wiring and everything so it is easier to just purchase everything new and not have to deal with the other truck at all but this truck has a little bit of surface rust on it nothing too crazy the dump body is not in the best of shape but it's also not terrible we are gonna mount a sander in the back here so we'll have to weld in some tabs some uh not tabs some hooks that way we can strap the sander down in but my brother will have this truck and he will do the condominium complex and we won't have any issues so he basically comes to our shop grabs the truck and then heads there for the entirety of the storm if it is a big storm he'll have to run back and get some more salt but usually one salt load on his truck is good for there so Overall, this is not a bad truck. It is a 2017. It has just under 30,000 miles on it. Obviously, it has a little bit of rust, but it is a work truck, so that is bound to happen. I'm not sure what the guy did that owned it before, but the inside is pretty clean. I'll show you guys that in a second. But yeah, this is uh, gonna get dropped off today. Hopefully, we'll have it back in about a week with the plow on it and everything obviously we'll have to get our decals on it but overall it's not a bad truck the inside of it is pretty clean i'm sure the dealership we got it from cleaned it up a little bit but it's really not bad the only thing i notice is this one little tear here and another tear there so besides that it's in pretty good shape it has power windows and everything it's not top of the line, but it's also not bottom of the line. Has this little screen here. I'm not really sure what that shows you. Probably just the radio and stuff like that. I don't believe it has a backup camera here. Let's turn it on. It's got 29,256 miles on it. Trailer connected. I don't know why it says that. Vehicle is on, driver's door, jar, trailer connected. So this is a gasser, it's not a diesel. I'm sure some of you guys watching this will have your opinion on whether you like gas or diesel trucks more. But yeah, this just shows you your radio. Let's put it in reverse. See if we have a backup camera. Nope, no backup camera. So you got your four wheel drive down there. You got your heat and AC controls, radio, the whole nine. Navigation. Right. Oh, that's a clock. I thought that was <laughs> I thought that was navigation for some reason. But let's see. CD, music, radio, mute, media. So you got your Bluetooth and stuff, clock, phone, menu. Uh, yeah. But overall it's not a not a bad truck. You have controls all over the steering wheel. This truck has, I think I mentioned it, 29,256 miles. It is still under warranty, so that is another reason we went ahead and picked this one up. That way, in the future, if there are any issues with it, 
it will just get dropped off to the dealership and taken care of. I believe there is two years left on the warranty. So for us, that is pretty nice. Obviously it has new tires on it. So a lot of the stuff that you would have to worry about maintenance wise, you don't have to with this being that it is a new truck. It has full service records and everything. So we know that it was taken care of, but next time you guys see this, it will have a nine foot Western plow on the front. Oh, the control that we're going to put on it is one of the toggle switch controls that get mounted somewhere right here and you have a little like joystick on it rather than a handheld one that you would hold in your hand. We're not, we're not too fond of the handheld ones. At least my father isn't and he's the one that makes all those decisions. So this will get the toggle switch, but yeah, me and Rodrigo are going to drop this off today and hopefully in a week or so. We will have this back so i think that pretty much wraps it up on this one you guys will be seeing this truck a lot more in the winter but it's october 10th and me and rodrigo are starting to get in full winter mode because i'm sure some of you snow removal guys know there is a lot of stuff behind the scenes that goes into getting your entire fleet ready and all your equipment ready so that is what we're doing and pretty much starts today. Rodrigo has been in our shop for the past week or so getting some of the trucks ready and doing a little bit of maintenance but we have a lot of trucks that we need to move. We have plows that we need to move. We have equipment that we need to move. We have a lot that goes into it and I'm sure I'm gonna make a ton of videos so you guys will see a lot of that process but for this truck it is getting dropped off today so hopefully we have it back in about a week or so but if you guys have any questions about it Definitely leave them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.